If you've ever received an email like this from Stripe, uh, you know how bad this can be for your business and what this can mean for your business. Basically, you will no longer be able to use Stripe. You will no longer be able to accept payments. Thousands of dollars will be held up in Stripe. You will also lose thousands of dollars from disputes and it's just gonna cause complete chaos, especially if you run a subscription business. Every subscription that you have within Stripe from a customer, you will now have lost. So you've lost tens of thousands of dollars. So what if I were to tell you there's a very simple automation that we can set up in our business that will reduce the amount of disputes that we're getting. Uh, it's going to mean that we no longer have thousands of emails coming in from customers asking us complex problems, trying to work out how to uh, you know, find the refund policy or how to get a refund for their account. And it's going to automate all of that for us. So basically, the result of this is people will no longer have to email in to get instant answers to their problems. You're offering real-time customer support using this automation. And as a result, you're going to reduce the amount of support tickets because people don't have to wait so long to get a response from your support. It's also going to save you a lot of money. So the problem that we have in our business, oh, and the reason, the way we're doing this, by the way, is we're using this software. The link is down below. It's called Chat IQ. The link is down below in the description. Uh, and you can get started. There's a two-week free trial if you if you use that link. Uh, but basically, the way this is, this is working is as your business grows, you're going to see an increase in the number of payments and an increase in the number of disputes. That is inevitable. That's just the way it's going to work. But as your business starts to hit problems, like you start to get disputes, and as you start to work on things in the back end of your business, like emails and customer support and dealing with these problems, what can happen is marketing will take a turn. So you'll no longer be marketing as much, which means you're bringing on less customers. Suddenly you'll start to see a downturn in the revenue in your business. But because disputes are counted or your dispute rate is the number of disputes over the number of payments that you're getting in your business, that dispute rate is going to continue to increase. As soon as you decrease the number of payments, there is obviously a delay in the number of disputes that you're getting. So if somebody started a payment here, they may not dispute until here. But as we're seeing a downturn in the amount of business that we're getting, our dispute rate is obviously rising. And as our dispute rate, you may know, if it increases past a 1% level, that is one payment out of 100 or one customer out of 100 disputes, this can cause us to lose our Stripe account. So how do we get around this problem? Well, we're going to do this by creating an AI automation uh, by using a knowledge base that is able to understand everything about our business. So here's how it works. If you click the top link down below in the description, you can actually get started setting your own up. It's incredibly easy, but basically we're going to be creating a high priority or a priority support solution, which is going to let an AI understand everything about our business and deal with uh, complex and simple questions from our customers. So the first thing that it does is if somebody's got, a, we're going to do this by the way by using a chatbot. Uh, so basically, if a business has, or sorry, if a customer has a problem, typically 70 or 80 percent of the time, the problem is just something very simple, like where is the refund policy or how can I track my order. So this is 70 or 80 percent of the customer questions. Typically, you know, before you set up this automation. All of these customer questions would be going directly to your email inbox, which means your you know, support team is going to have to be responding to all of these questions uh, and just repeating themselves over and over again. So the chatbot can now deal with these. So we have reduced our support ticketing by 80% automatically just by creating a simple chatbot. Um, the second thing it's going to do is, under, is understand whether it's a complex issue or not. Now, what I mean by complex issue, these are things that require a human to get involved. These are things that require a human to basically... Uh, for example, like refund requests or cancellations of subscriptions or, um, I don't know, changing orders, things like that, uh, booking things, right? We can actually adjust, we can actually find out what things humans need to be involved in and we can hand off this conversation to a human through support ticketing. So the big easiest way of explaining this is if I give you an example. So this is what the chatbot looks like. You can brand it and customize it for whatever you want it to look like for your brand. But you've got two options where somebody can actually chat with this AI brain or they can submit a support ticket. So let me just explain this quickly, right? So we've got all of the pages on our website, our website, our blog, training documents, video transcripts, FAQ pages. All of this information has been put into an AI brain. This AI brain looks like this in the software. So within Chat IQ, you can see here I've got 153,000 words uploaded. This is every single page from my website, a whole load of support documents and details and FAQs and all sorts of things. I can upload PDFs and URLs uh, and just plain text. You can see here this is an FAQ page of 4,000 words. So now the AI is basically able to understand everything about the business. So everything that you know in your business, the AI also knows. So, and you can you can limit by the way what uh, brains 
can read what bits of data so you can only have customer facing things and internal bits of data but we'll get into that in another video uh, but now down to the complex issues so for example imagine somebody's come in and they've asked our chatbot can I uh, what is the refund policy or how can I get a refund what it's going to do is go to every single page on the website and find the information for that customer. So now the customer no longer needs to scroll through the website and find that information themselves. That information has been given to them automatically. So here they can go to the terms of service. So if we click on that link, it's just opened up the terms of service. My internet is useless, so you can see here there's terms of service. Um, and also it's given us the contact information as well. But on top of that, it knows that this could become a problem. This could be a problem customer. And when I say a problem customer, this is a customer who could dispute. If they can't get a refund for their account, or if they can't get a you know in contact with a human and deal with that problem quickly, then this could be a big problem for the business. So what it's going to do is offer them to submit a support ticket. If we do that and we submit a support ticket, we can actually categorize that. So as a business, we can actually customize what these categories are. Uh, and I'll show you. So if we go into the ChatIQ software, like I say, the, the link for ChatIQ is down below. You get a two-week free trial. Um, but if we go to, let's just go to the main chatbot on the website. We're going to go to ticketing. You can see here I have a bug. I'm missing a feature and account issues. This is what I've set up here. I have a bug, missing feature, and account issues. So these are the categories for the support ticketing that I've set up. So you can customize your own categories. But now we're going to just put in an example. I'm just going to do something like this. And we're going to submit a support ticket saying, I need a refund. Give my money back. Right, so this is a, a very important problem that needs to be dealt with. But, right, I want you to watch my phone here because I'm going to get a notification. I've set up notifications within the software. So now this customer has just submitted a support ticket. So in a matter of seconds, the software is going to go ahead and create that support ticket. You can see here it's come through in my account. Uh, and I've also just received that notification so there's an email notification that's come through and it's given me a high priority refund request support ticket so i know wherever i am any time of the day i have received a, a support ticket that i need to deal with uh, i can now go into the software and i can automatically respond to this ticket but here's the really cool thing with chat iq it has access to all of your company data so for example like i said earlier we have you know we've got the website information the blog the training documents and all of these but these could be training documents that your customer service support team would use so sops those sorts of things those questions and those answers that are being used day to day are all now given to the ai brain which means the ai brain now knows how to deal with these problems you don't need to have a human doing this so what we can do is actually use an ai to respond to the support ticket and as a result we're going to reduce the customer, uh, we're going to increase customer satisfaction, we're going to re reduce the number of support tickets, and etc. But you can see here, it's going to categorize all of the support tickets from a single customer. So you can see this customer, and this is just like some example data, but this customer has obviously submitted two tickets already. We've got one unread ticket. The average response time so far for this customer has been five minutes. Um, now, so we can see here's fast response times, and you can see here is the closed ticket, which came to about half an hour ago, uh, and then this is the current open refund request. So I can actually now respond to this support ticket. It's going to load up the chat history. I can see here the conversation that customer had with the chat bot. You can see here, this is exactly the same conversation. Uh, and I can then actually process a email response to this customer. So it's going to use all of that company data and it's going to respond to that email or create me a draft email basically for that customer, which I can now send via Gmail. So if I click on this button here, it's going to open up the default Gmail account that I have for my business. Whatever email account I'm logged into in Chrome, it's going to open up that Gmail and it's going to pre-populate that information. So as long as you're logged into the right Gmail account, it's going to you know, populate that response and now I can just send that. So if I now have done that, I can also, by the way, give it custom prompt information saying, uh, please ask the customer for their account email. And now when I send this to the AI, it's going to use a combination of the uh, knowledge that it has and also this prompt and it's going to ask them for extra information so provide us with the email associated with your account this will help us locate your order and address the request promptly so it knows that first of all because this customer asked for a refund and because this customer could end up disputing because of the, the you know the uh, support ticket the request that they have is categorized as a high priority support ticket and it's also responded to that email for us and now 
it's pre-populated that response into Google that I can just send. And now I'm happy with it, I can then close that support ticket. I can see if I come back that this average response time is now reduced to four minutes. Both tickets are closed. I can then reopen tickets if I want to, uh, but all of that has now been managed. And now I've taken my response times from several you know, hours down to a couple of minutes. Uh, and obviously, as a result, reducing the number of emails that I'm getting, the amount of money I'm spending as a business on customer support, and I'm obviously increasing customer satisfaction at the same time. So if you want to get started, click the top link down below in the description, head to chatiq.ai and you can actually get started for free. Uh, you get a two week free trial and then it's $30 a month after that.